Hello guys, who here, back with another video, this time around guiding you through the event we got going on right now. It's of course the Shadows Eve, the Shadows Eve is a back and you might be wondering there is something missing on your face, who yeah that is right, I'm missing my glasses because yesterday uh, accidentally a kid hit me with the basketball right in the face and my glasses broke so I do not have any glasses at the moment. Uh, I'm gonna get some new ones tomorrow, but uh, you guys don't want to wait around for a guide for tomorrow just so me can have some glasses on. So yes, I'm gonna do this half blind almost. Uh, it's not that bad, but uh, yeah, I do need uh, glasses to see it perfectly. So, but I can still see the screen. Still see there's a little Draco on the screen right there. So this should be a no problem. But we got a 10 step quest ahead of us going into the Shadows of Eve event. Actually also called something with the patch shadow of the patch or something like that i think that's what it's called it's pretty cool actually but of course we do have of course if i go right in here and press the right button that's not the right button this button of course we do have the quest here but we also have the 14 days of daily adventures of course to make sure you do uh, very much easily of course on tuesdays but very importantly on of course that th saturday for that double xp potion also keep in mind that you can do the pvp quest that is below in the hub you know there's a little bit pvp area you can get a daily quest there that can work on thursdays or you can just go and do any quest also club quests and whatnot do work also for all of that to do an adventure but that's a pretty easy one just go into pvp and then at least get eight it's not that hard and then you get one pvp coin and that completes uh you know your daily adventure on thursdays but yeah that's it that's how it is and you are just gonna bear with me uh with the I signed for the rest of the video, but that was the intro. Let's uh, just already jump into step number one. All right, so for step number one, we do have to go to the hub and talk to Cubesley. I, I think it's Cubesley does in a costume. It's called Woofsley, but I'm pretty sure it's just Cubesley in a costume. By the way, uh, the Bomber Real thing that I was talking about is actually over right over there. That's where you get it. You just go down the stairs and there's the PvP quest that I just talked about in the intro. But here we are just going to go over in this spooky, spooky house and we are going to talk to Cubesley. I know it's you, Cubesley. I, you can't hide. You might be have a nice, uh, you look like a very cool wolf or not, but I'm pretty sure you got Cubesley under there. But anyways, the only thing you have to do is go up there and you just have to interact with it. And you do that with your interaction button, which is... Uh, me is E, uh, so just be very close to him and then press the E button and that is going to complete you step number one and yeah we can head into step already number two. All right, so for step number two, all you have to do is go to a cursed valley uh, biome, which is, of course, the one that has the most is, of course, if we go to the screen right here, it is the one we have right down here. So around here, you can just go that has the most, but you can go any of the prime world if you want to. You are going to find this one with the little cursed skull on it. You can see it's right there and you can see behind me here is a pumpkin patch, as they call them. And all you have to do is go in here. I'm just going to go a little bit closer. You can see somebody's already doing it. And then you can go ahead and get it. You can see that was already the 30 ones I did to have. So, oh, uh, this is going to go a little bit here. There we go. And uh, that also actually completes the step number three, but that will get into that one as well. But yeah, that was a step number two for just collecting 30. I think you can also get them just from getting from the marketplace. The marketplace is working again, so you can just buy them there. I'm pretty sure it works there, but you just need to get 30. And you can see there, if you do the pumpkin patch at the same time or find one of these, it actually indicated on the map now. They were not usually not on the map. You couldn't see them before. They were just like maybe out here or something like that, or it could be here, a terrain that was already generated. But now they're indicated as well with a dungeon inside of them and that's what you have to do in step three but we'll get to that one as well when we get to one but you just have to get the 30 pumpkins you can also get it from gardening if you want to do so uh, get him the pumpkins from there so if you want to do it in that way you can but you can see how fast it actually went for the 30 uh pumpkins that was there so yeah that was step number two now we can head into step number three all right, guys, so for step number three, all you have to do is complete one of these pumpkin dungeons. You can see I'm already on step four, but step number three, you just complete the dungeon. So I would recommend you going around before getting some of the pumpkins to complete step number two, and then afterwards go back and get step number you know, three. Uh, and it's pretty cool because they actually indicate now with a... Uh, dungeon marker instead of it before it was not it was just random you can see any of these on the map but now you can actually see them as actually dungeons so you can actually also use your radar up here you can use that one as well but i do in a, suggest you do that and then go into the middle here and you just complete this one by uh, 
doing the curse thing right here shouldn't be a big problem because we are not uh, very high in the pair. I was about to say Paragon, but I mean, of course, in the world. And we should... Oh, there's another step. Oh, there's a step there. And that's what you are going to do. And that's going to complete... Uh, there's actually chosen with some pumpkins down here, which is really, really nice. That's actually a nice addition. There's more pumpkins up here as well. So plenty of pumpkins all over the place. So yeah, that's what you do for step number... Is this guy going to be annoying? <laughs> he is going to be annoying. All right. Uh, that's what you're going to do for step number three. Just find one of these on the map and you can see them right here. I do suggest you go to the cursed valley biome right down here as you were in before in step number two. So yeah, complete a dungeon. Uh, that is the pumpkin patch dungeon and do that one. And then you are going to complete step number three. So we can see yourself in step number four. All right, so for step number four, we are on exactly the same location because we do have to defeat 15 of these. I suggest you still go uh, down here and do it in this biome here. Or if you're just regular farming, just go through it. If you want to do it fast, you just go here. But if you're just doing your normal farming, I would suggest you go to like U11 Prime Worlds and just find some of them there and just like incorporate it in your normal uh, farming as you would do. So just implemented in that one instead because it does no need to rush through it and you might as well get some some good stuff from it instead of doing it right here and might there also might be less people because usually all everybody goes here because they want to get it done as fast as possible so that people would go here but if you want to do that you should go here and you're just going to run around and it's going to be indicated of course with this one as well and you can do it and then you have to do 15 of these as you just did here. So if you did it in step three, you know what you have to do in step four, just 15 times more. So I'm gonna go out there and get my last 15, well, 14 actually, and uh, all right, I do have to just interrupt myself before we move on. Uh, regular dungeons or regular pumpkin dungeons do work as well. You can see you have the one I was just talking about before, but it doesn't have to be 15 of these. It can also be the other 15 or whatever pumpkins. The old one, as you can see right here, these are on all biomes. The other ones over there back there is only in the Cursed Valley biome, but these are everywhere. So you can just go ahead and do them as well if you want to. You can see I'm on 11 and I just did this one. I was and 10 but it was 10 after this one and then 11 and then or yeah so you can just do those so well so if you see them do them as well they work towards this step as well but now we can of course then i'll see you guys in step number five all right so for step number five we have to collect some i call them roses but they're not they're not what they are but this is what i feel like they look like i kind of feel like they look like roses maybe it's just my vision i don't know no i we have had these before but i just kind of feel like they're kind of like roses or something like they have to pick up maybe that's not really what they are but that's what we have to collect around so you can see here you can also open your map you can see there is a bunch of them so you have to go to a cursed valley biome again i would suggest you go down here and get them they are all over the place uh, they might be a little bit rare when people do get to that step and also further into that but we are just going to go and collect it and you can see that one i got three was it yeah three <laughs> again the eyes but you get uh, two to three or something like one to three i think that's what you usually get and then we just have to collect 25 you can see there's a bunch of them around here so i'm just going to go real quick and get a few of them and i'm maybe actually going to collect all of them yeah, uh, no, that was close. There's a few other here, so we can just get it all done together. And there's one at least there, and there we go. And that is how fast you can actually go. And again, this was in the this one, this biome down here that I went to. So it's not like it's U9 or something like that. So you can get one to three when you go through this. Maybe you can also get four or even more. So, anyways, that was step number five. Just collect so five of these banes and uh, 25 of these banes, and you are good to go for step number five. We can head into step number six. All right, for step number six, we are heading back into the hub and we're going back to the haunted house right here because there is a crafting bench right next to Cubesley in the wolf costume. And we all you have to do is go up here and open up the crafting bench. It can be a little bit hard, but it is in there behind all the people here. Uh, but here you can go ahead and craft it. You should have enough of these Banes to craft this one because you got 25 as you can see right here we do have more so all you have to do for this step as you can see right here when i do go ahead and do that you can see that is going to complete step number six so really not more than just than crafting it so yeah that is step number six go to the hub go to the crafting bench and craft yourself a uh, one of these den things uh also wolf dens and you should be ready to go for step number six and we can head into step number seven 
All right, for step number seven, we have to go into the delve. You have to use the gateway we just had, so put that one down. I would suggest if you can, go around 115 because it's not always gonna be on the first floor. The boss is not always, because we do have to kill a wolf then boss, but it's not always gonna be uh, you know, on the first floor, so you might have to go a few, uh, well, through a few, that's very hard to say, but you go have to go a few, a few and then uh, you might find it's gonna maybe be on the second one, third one, or let, uh, you are at some point gonna get one of them. It might be on the first floor, who knows? Of course, I'll continue when we get to that boss, but uh, I just wanna say you might as well put it at 115 if you can do 115 and above, because then you will hit 117 uh, with the shadow cash thing you know the one you can actually have have a chance of getting crystal four gear so put it at 115 and then go from there or of course just do it at a you can do it at very just like level one or whatever if you want to just want to rush through it really really quickly but of course you do still have to do the objective and stuff that before to you can get to the end but anyways the point is put it at a pace of course or a level that you can handle it doesn't matter i'm just suggesting 115 if you want to do so and maybe you won't end up maybe you already done your delves or whatever it was for this week because it's coming out on a tuesday but just saying it's a good suggestion to do it on 115 then you will hit of course that because that's also why i have my bombs and i have my keys in my inventory so because i might end up getting one of those and i might as well get that with it when we're doing this anyway so anyways i will see you guys when i hit the boss all right, we made it to the, of course, the boss den where it is. And it actually says, you can say the wolf's den. You can also see right here, it's called the wolf's den. So just keep that in mind when you are going through it all. And I actually got it on the third floor, uh, I guess. So this is where it's going to be for this one. And this, of course, is the guy that we are supposed to defeat. He looks very much like, you know, Dodd the Moon. He does have a little bit of a special abilities as well. But as you can see, he spawns. Uh, wolves and everything and so it's a very cool fight actually and I'm actually also have a debuff and everything that's pretty cool so I probably doesn't do like that much damage to him compared to you know but you can see that's the Dada Moon's gun there was also the one uh, one shot thing but that's kind of completed uh, you can see then I can also use which I am going to use on a different character actually now that I think about it but anyways that's how you complete step number seven and now we can head into step number eight all right, for step number eight, all we have to do is go back to the hub and craft the blessing. Uh, I'm not sure I'm going to pronounce the other thing, but I'm just going to call it the blessing, right? But we are going to miss a little bit of an ingredient if you didn't get enough of the roses that we we're talking about, these cubanes that we got in step number six i think we need to 25 we need 10 of them to get the uh, craft this one of course you need a little bit of pumpkins you should have enough of that if you don't you should go there and get some as well but i only got you know just a quieter amount i didn't know we we're gonna do this blessing as well but i'm gonna get eight more so you can see how fast that is so i'm just gonna do that uh, just whenever we're done with this step and i'll just get this one so all you have to do is just go here craft this half moon thing and when you get that blessing we are gonna be done with step number eight so so yeah just go ahead and craft this one if you have enough of these or just go ahead get yourself some more of the banes or of some pumpkins out there in the cursed valley as we had before in step number six so get some more of those roses banes things and i, I just kind of looked like you know shadow roses from minecraft that's just what i'm thinking about anyways that's enough with step number eight and i'll see you guys in step number nine all right, guys, so for step number nine, we have to complete three daily quests that there we are going to do. You probably saw them when they appear right around you when you crafted this one. There is going to be five of these quests here. I'm just going to go over them really quick. Some of them are super easy. Some of them are... You know, it takes a little bit of time, I guess. We have to do five of the dungeons, which is not very hard. That's any dungeon right now, right? It, with the upgrade to the pumpkin ones as well. The, uh, I guess, the real pumpkin ones, I guess. And then we got the other pumpkin ones. So everything is a dungeon now, so which is really, really nice. So five of these are not too uh, hard. We know how fast it is to get the banes as well. So this is a very really super one. So if you really don't want to do these daily ones every single day, at least do this one. This is super, super, super easy. Then collect three pumpkins. I'm pretty sure you can get them from the market place as well but it's three pumpkins it's not even like it's not like 30 or something like that but three pumpkins is going to be super easy as well you are probably going to go do all these as well anyway so you're going to complete this pretty easily then we got the bumber coin oin urn oin 
earn one bumper rail coin uh, so you don't even have to get more than one I, and you might actually also have this one complete if you have the tome but that's once a week but just go ahead and do this one i'm going to show you guys how pretty easily you can do this one with another quest as well to so get that double up and then kill wolves and wolf werewolves and we didn't do anything of these part of this quest line but when you actually ran around in the cursed valley biome and trying to get some of these banes the banes there was actually some small npcs around that actually wolves and werewolves so just defeat those when you run around they're not inside dungeons they're just all around the the world and you can defeat them pretty easily uh, no really hard anything like that they might also work when you are doing the dungeons and stuff that actually also might actually go towards this one but they're pretty simple to get 25 of these they're all over the place in the curse to valley biome so again go to uh, you know down here go down here and you can just get these done pretty quickly to get them all they're pretty much in sync with each other but i just wanted to show you guys of course the bombreal quest as well which is of course right here uh, when you go over here you can see the bomberel house here you go down the stairs this is the one i was talking about thursday as well you go down here there's a quest to earn a bomberel coin and it's going to work with the same with this one so you are going to do two of these so you're doing two things at the same time i think it's under uh actually it's under uh, events here so yeah there's the one that one and I can't see the other one at the moment, but I did pick it up, so I'm not sure where it actually is. Maybe it's, oh, there it is. It's of course on the tro uh, tra agency, that's where it is. So you can get this one as well, and then you get some coins as well, but there, you might be wondering, I've already done all the PvP, but it's always nice to get a few extra coins because there is some consumables down here. You can actually craft and yeah, they, these are once per week kind of craft. You can see it's a weekly craft as well. Oh, I do want to mention one thing as well for this one. I saw this one as well. So make sure you also do this one. I just remember with the daily or actually weekly craft, there is this one. This is a daily craft as well, where you get two of these uh, kind of not for the same exact to the same price. You do have to get a little bit of this Luna con whatever thingy, the Luna thing stuff down here, the purple stuff down here. You get that from defeating dungeons and also defeating the werewolves and the wolves and stuff like that. But you get them from there as well. You can see I got this and this actually hasn't been part of any quest, but this is a daily quest where you get two of them instead of just getting one. You can keep going doing these. Uh, you know, you do have to have the coins, which is sort of the daily uh, thing, right? We have to do the daily thing as what so, so on and so on. But you can keep doing these as many as you want but there is a daily craft as well that do not get the coins so you can actually you know do this one without actually doing any daily quests as well and these are going to contain uh you know some uh, some various amounts of uh, you know versions of all these and also probably pretty sure that it's all going to be in the decorations these are probably some of the new decorations we got and they probably recipes through that all the recipes are going to be available on the marketplace you can see really quickly now nothing is up yet so it could be from dungeons as well these are from but usually it's from these ones but of course there's also a few things you have to do have to craft this so one of these new ones as well so yeah these are part of the uh, shadow so if you want them you do have to do the daily ones as well but i'm just gonna go ahead and do my three daily quests and uh, probably do the pvp one actually because you can do that one and then i'll see you guys in step number 10. All right, guys, so for the last step, step number 10, all we have to do is do the daily craft that we were talking about before in step number nine. So we go ahead into the spooky house, go up to the crafting bench, and we do the daily one. Not this one, but this one. I'm not sure if this one is actually going to work. Uh, I'm actually going to... Nah, I'm just going to keep it, actually. So I'll make sure I have enough for this one because I'm going to do them every single day. So, But... You're going to do this one anyways every single day because getting two of these is pretty awesome. I'm not sure if you can actually trade them, but we'll see. But Candy Corn, of course, Pumpkins is, of course, from Pumpkins. You can also get these from the Marketplace. You can also get them from Gardening. Candy Corn is from doing any Pumpkin Dungeons out there. And then, of course, the Banes of them. We talked about them a lot. And you go to the Curse Valley, get those there. And then the Luna ones is from defeating enemies in the Cursed valley biome so going through the dungeons going through the werewolves and all that stuff and you are going to get to these as well so i'm going to go ahead and craft the daily craft it's a pretty long craft actually and that is going to give you the last coin and also giving you the last one as well so let's open these to see what we get so first one we do get a shadow receive yeah you can see that it's one of those so you do get some of these and then you can also get dragon coins from this one so you have to do this one uh, every single not every single day but you can do this once a day i do also want to mention one thing i did see that we get in the previous step we got the blessing here the pumpkin effigy so i'm pretty sure this works where you put it down 
and then you get the Luna Blessing right up here. So this is actually quite significant for doing damage because it actually do damage to enemies. So if you wanna, you know, min-max that damage, you do have to have this one as well. Place it down and then do, it says donate Flux, Glim, and Pumpkins. And then you get the buff for three hours. We do also have one for Magic Find, actually. That was part of the part of the St. Patrick's Day, the St. Cubesley's Day event. Uh, we also have one there. That's actually in the club already. If you don't have it, you could have to wait until then. But everybody can use it as part of the club. You can go here and use it and donate some flux. And then you get 250 magic find as well to that one. But yeah, this one is going to work the same way. So make sure you at least get to step number nine and get this one. Place it in your cornerstone and get this here done. So yeah. This one is pretty cool, so get this one in there. But anyways, that was the guide. I hope you got and found it uh, very uh, informational and helped you out at some places. Anyways, uh, again, sorry for the vision, but I can't see all the beauty. No, I don't know. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!